Hi guys. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we are building something. Uh, we're not going to tell you what it is because we want you to watch the whole video to see at the end what we really come up with and what are we really doing out here. What do you think, what do you think it is, Larry? It's an obstacle course for small horses. <laughs> Or old people. <laughs> I think it's a training course for hamsters to make them go in and out and around the poles. Well, what do you guys think? Anyway, watch the video and see what it is. We're going to unroll the wire, and this is the first thing you do when you start putting up fence. And by the way, this is reclaimed fence from a neighbor's. He let us have it because we were kind enough to help him take it down. So we're reclaiming it. Is this close enough? Yeah. See it is? No, come on. Tell them what you got. Let me get in. What is that? Lineman's pliers. Yeah. Okay, and you're going to cut the wire at the end here, right? Yep, because it's easier to mess with. Okay. I say we move. Where are we going to move to? To the moon. What are those things you're holding? These are fence clips. What's a fence clip? It's a clip to hold the fence up. <laughs> okay, now we're going to lift the wire up and tie it with the clamps. And I'll hold it and help you out. Okay, we're hitting the other side, guys. Probably three fourths are battle out here. Muscles. Yeah. <laughs> One down. Farm girl. Forty seven to go. Yeah, I know. They must start the other end. Okay. Charlie wants to put the clippy thing on. Work this way? Yeah. Are we going uphill or downhill? North is always up in Patching a hole in the head. No, you're patching this tarp. Yeah. What are you doing? That's good. We're not telling you why, so you're just going to put holes in there. <coughs> yeah. I'm keep patching this. <laughs> Seems redundant. Okay, let's get her going. I'm going to keep filming while you put holes in the tarp. Okay. Holes good. Holes good. So, you're putting holes in the tarp, huh? Yep. Ever 18 inches? Yeah. Huh. Putting holes everywhere, whatever 18 inches. All right, if you haven't guessed it by now, guys, we're planting lots of peppers. As you can tell, I don't mess around when I'm planting. I am a jackrabbit and I go fast. Our daughter uh, a few months ago asked us to give her some 
hot peppers. And you know what, Edwina? Uh, this is for you. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> But what is it? But what is it, you may ask? <laughs> but what is it? What is it? It's a lot of work. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did we spend about a week, really? <laughs> I don't know. We spent a lot of time messing with it, but it seemed like it was a never-ending project. Yeah. And our first video talks about this, and I'm going to give you guys kind of a, what they call a rewind I'll put in how we started this little plot. We got, uh, we're gonna start talking about it. So I'm gonna have Larry, I'll follow Larry as he describes each row. Oh, I'm describing each row? Yeah, I gonna describe each <laughs> row. Point at it and tell them what we got going here. <laughs> that outside row, what is that? That row over there, that's jalapenos. And they go all the way down that row and actually across the back. And the jalapenos are hot? Yeah. Okay. They're not too bad, but they're spicy. But I think everybody knows what a jalapeno is. Okay, so what's the next row? So the next row is Lobano, Pobano peppers. Okay, kind of point to it a little more so we can kind of see. <laughs> okay, the second row. Yeah, over. The second row from that end. And then the third row? The third row, which is in the middle, is habanero peppers. Are they hotter they're than They're hotter than jalapenos. Oh, so we're getting hotter as we go along. Yeah. Ooh. And then the fourth row. And then the, this row here, they are serranos. Are they hot? And I think they're hotter than habaneros. Oh my gosh, three, four degrees of hot. And then so what's on the very end row? So the end row is orange bell peppers. Okay, explain how we got the orange bell peppers. So we went to a farmer's market about three months ago and they had some really nice big orange bell peppers and we weren't sure what the variety was so I harvested seeds out of one of them and planted them into some seed trays and that's what we ended up with they grew so we don't know if they're going to produce food or not but how much do those things usually cost a piece oh in season you can probably get them for a dollar and a half or two dollars a piece but out of season they're probably Two, three dollars easy <clears throat> and they're usually not not very big and the reason why I decided to do the seeds from these these were huge they were bigger than a softball so yeah our daughter and son-in-law wanted hot peppers and they like the fact that we dehydrate them they're organic and then we take and dry them and then we make a powder out of them but we have to be careful when we do the powder because yes. it becomes airborne. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can inhale it, and it sucks all the air out of your lungs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How'd you learn that one? The hard way. The hard way. <laughs> so, our plan is to sell these, and I think we'll call them uh, Perfect Peppers. Unless somebody comes up with a better name. Yeah. We'll put them in a jar about like this big, or maybe, well, we'll figure it out because we got how many plants? 70? Uh, I think there's between 70 and 75 plants in this. Okay. But 15 of them are bell peppers. Okay. So everything else is hot. Oh, this ought to and, be interesting. And we like jalapeno poppers. Yeah. So we'll probably make our own version of that at some point. But that still leaves us lots of peppers. So we're going to dehydrate and make powders out of them and package them up into some little bitty, like, spice jars. Yeah, the, uh... We'll, we'll give you a, a look uh, as you see this thing grow. It'll be, we figure these peppers will get two to three as tall as this fence is around here. That's why we yeah. got them. We have them stringed up. Then we can stake them and yeah, as we tie go them along. up and keep them off the ground. So, uh, we we'll left a pathway between so that we can get down through and pick. And there's hopefully not going to be any weeds because we put this nice black fabric down. Try to keep the kitty cats out, you know, if you can And the rabbits. Oh, the uh, rabbit toes. <laughs> so, uh, thanks to you, Edwina, you've caused us a lot of work. <laughs> no, it'll be, it's fun. I think it'll be fun as long as we don't get wore out. You've, you've seen in the video that we do get wear out, wore out from putting the post in to tie, you know, just 
when we end up with buckets and buckets of pepper. We'll, we'll be going, be going, what to do with what this? What are we going to do with all these? Well, anyway, so it's tears to the beginning of Perfect Peppers. Perfect Peppers. Perfect Peppers. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>